Hey there, Kyle here, and today we're gonna check out a forgotten PV combo amp. This is the All Tube Bravo 112. Let's do it! Alright guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle and uh, I just really love guitar gear and checking out new stuff. So if you're like me and you're not a great guitar player but you still love checking out new things, you're in the right place. And today, we're checking out a thing that's new to me but is also very old at the same time. This is a 1988 PV Bravo 112 combo. Now. This is a, kind of like a hidden gem type deal. There were a lot of hidden gem PVs back in the day, but unfortunately, you know, over the years, people like me make videos about them and kind of uncover how awesome they are at such low prices. And then the prices go up once everybody starts to learn about them. So sorry in advance if that happens with this video, but uh, this amp is too cool not to showcase to you guys. So this amp is actually an all tube 112 uh, combo and it's technically two channels, but the second gain channel or the gain channel has an ultra switch, which you pull out on the gain and it kicks in another gain stage. And this thing gets really, really high gain all on its own. And one of the reasons that people don't realize that this is a tube amplifier is because all the tubes are contained in a little horizontal cavity here in the back of the chassis. They don't hang down like they do on pretty much any other amp in existence. They're completely covered. So when you initially look at it, you can't see them, but under that cover are two EL84 power tubes and three 12AX7 preamp tubes. So being an EL84 powered amp with two power tubes, this thing probably puts out somewhere between 10 and 20 watts. Not gonna get super loud, but it's an awesome little combo to get those classic PV high gain sounds out of. And for the speaker, it's got a single 12 inch eminence unlabeled speaker, but uh, got a little inside information on this. I was able to talk to John Brown and John Fields, both who worked on these amps back in the day at PV. And this speaker is actually the Blue Marvel speaker without the Blue Marvel label on it. It's the first amp that they used this speaker on. Uh, later went on to be used in all the PV Classic amps. So little fun fact for you there, but uh, yeah, this was basically meant to be a stripped down, much more affordable version of the Triumph PAG combo, which was PV's flagship at the time. That was their ultra series amplifier, three channels, active EQ, had all sorts of switching and stuff going on on it. And they wanted to make a stripped down, more affordable version. And uh, that is what the Bravo is. So we've got a clean channel here with a bright switch and a basic three band EQ. And then over here we have the ultra channel, which uh, has that pull 
pot again so you can actually pull that out and kick in the super high gain mode three band eq and then we have built-in reverb so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing for a spin. I'm gonna check this out for the first time with you guys. Those were my first impressions. Uh, for the intro, we were on the stock speaker, but I'm gonna change it down to this PV 2x12 cab loaded with Vintage 30s because that stock speaker sounds like it had something wrong with it. It's kind of rattling. Well, here's our rattle. And I know a lot of people who play these combos are either gonna swap that speaker out or they're gonna put it into an external cab. So that's what we're doing here. We've got an SM57 on the Vintage 30 and there will be no post-processing. So let's go ahead, let's jump into it. We'll start with the clean channel. All right, guys, I have my Squire Classic Vibe Telecaster here, and we basically have this set up trying to get some sort of a fendery clean out of it with the mid scooped out. So as you can see, pretty bright, pretty chimey. I mean, I could probably roll back the mids even more, roll up the highs even more. And get that really, really bright, sparkly top end. Uh, I would like to call it harsh, but yeah. Little known secret about some of these older PV tube combos is the clean channel was actually based on old Fender amplifiers. Not gonna tell you which one, but uh, I know, and it'll be my little secret, but the circuit is very, very close. So if you're looking for a good clean tone in a sleeper amp, take a look at some of these old PVs. Finally, all the way on the neck. Honestly, I think the, the clean channel on this thing sounds great. If we wanted to, let's say, pull that bright switch out and go back over to the bridge and get a little bit more mids and try to set this up so we can hit it with an overdrive and make it sound good. All right, guys, so now we're hitting it with an overdrive out front. We've got the Nobles ODR1. So as you can see, it takes the overdrive really well to get kind of that rock and roll sound and then overdrive off. You're left with your clean sound again. And remember, this is through Vintage 30 speakers, so not the best clean speakers in the world. If you were to go with something like a Greenback for a little bit more Marshally clean, or even something Jensen in a cab, you would be able to get much better cleans than I'm getting out of it right now. We're also gonna kick on a Klon style overdrive. So you can kind of get that like overdriven country outlaw type tone going on. But uh, let's move over to the gain channels where I'm a little more comfortable. All right, guys. So we are on the lower gain uh, side, I guess, of the ultra gain channel or the gain channel. Uh, we're going to start with the gain down at nine o'clock and I'm going to show you the range. So as you can see, it goes from fairly clean to pretty much all out saturation. And this is just on the lower gain side of things. So let's see if we can get a little bit more of a martially tone going on real quick. So 
So as you can see, with the right pickups and the right settings, it's doing the classic rock thing pretty well. If we were going through a greenback, it would probably be doing it even better. Let's push it up for a little bit more of a hard rock type tone. <laughs> Alright, so personally, I think this channel sounds great. You can get it towards the Marshall type territory, but it's always going to have that kind of PV upper mid and that PV sizzle thing going on. I'm a fan. You may not be, but it is what it is. So let's move over to that highest gain channel. Alright, so all I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to pull that switch out. And as you can see, it's already pretty high gain right off the bat. Let's go ahead and push that pre-gain all the way up. Yeah, so <laughs> it's pretty easy to see. We need some more high end because that gain is masking our top end. This is fully capable of basically the highest gain tones you could want. These are lower output pickups in this Balliger here. And if you had something like active EMGs, you wouldn't even need a boost in front of this thing to achieve modern levels of high gain. <laughs> So yeah, does that with ease. That was a great thrash tone. What happens if we roll those mids back and try to get like a Metallica tone out of it? Well, it can pretty much nail that as well because the mid control on here, even though these EQ controls aren't active like the other ultra amps, it has a huge sweep to it. All right, guys, so I'm actually gonna pull, push the gain back in and hit it with a boost out front. And now we're gonna pull it out with the boost in front. And as you can see, we have a ton of gain going on. Tons and tons of gain. Does the modern high gain thing really, really well. Let's uh, grab a seven string and see how it does. than my guitar needing a little bit of a setup, it handles that stuff just fine. So if you're looking for a super, super cheap amp to jam around at home, or maybe record through an external cab and get some awesome high gain, classic PV tones that really kind of cover a lot of ground, PV Bravo 112, man. I bought this thing for $199 from Guitar Center's used site, but 
Seems like they're selling closer to the 350 to $400 range these days, but of course with old PV stuff, you've always got a chance at finding a barn deal or finding a hidden gem somewhere in a pawn shop or something, so keep a lookout for it. So what did you guys think about this amp? What do you think about the tones I've got? Have you ever played this? Do you have any experience with it? Let me know down in the comments. I'll be sure to meet you down there to talk about it. If you want to support the channel and what I do here down in the description of this video are my support links, like my Sweetwater and my Zounds affiliate links, anything you click on down there greatly helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Or you can help the channel directly by adding your name to this list. That was a really long lead up with my hands. Anyways, this list of incredibly fine people by joining my Patreon community and supporting the channel that way, everything that goes into that Patreon fund goes back into my YouTube channels for gear to do demos for you guys. So if you join that, I'll love you forever, whether you want me to or not. Thanks so much for watching guys, Kyle here again. We'll see you next time. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.